Not gonna lie, you got me. Totally forgot about Sethos. <laughs> totally forgot he was in the same patch. But uh, his demo came out last night. I was so focused on Chloe and stuff, I totally forgot about Sethos. But here we are, Revelation of the Silent Sands. Uh, we knew a lot about him from the Sino Story Quest, so I'm curious to what they're gonna show in this demo here. But let's check it out. You got questions? You've come to the right person. On the off chance I don't have the answers, I can ask around and help you find out. Sethos, pretty interesting guy. He's like a distant cousin of Sinos. The it's first true. time we met, he came up and asked me if I was Hat Guy. Hmm. He nods his head and <laughs> talks. It's like, oh, I don't know, like a little puppy, yes? Doesn't play enough TCG. Oh. So I know they're saying I'm difficult to control, like a wild animal. Surprised but a lot of people know about him. Kind of an issue that they want to control other Wait. people think in the first place. Okay, oh. Sethos, or Sumeru Slap. Sometimes an over-reliance on ancient wisdom can make you forget the strength that you and your companions already have. Not the biggest fan of his kit, but... Behind you! Behind you! Nice plunge. <laughs> Don't mention it. I'll protect you. Or you can protect me. <laughs> Whatever works. Uh, I guess either or. All right. Music. Music is a slap, though. Uh, Sumeru always comes with the slaps. Let's hear it again. Don't you think it's kind of an issue that they want to control how other people think in the first place? Yeah. You got to know when to stop it. You know, like, stop go you know like i don't know it's just like this whole regional or like cultural sound that sumeru has is it's just been like my favorite so far you know it really has been like it's, it's just so like it's such a jam you know it's it's just a vibe and i want to say too when i played the sano story quest his english va i haven't seen the jp one yet but or heard it yet his English VA is just so, he's so smooth. Like his performance is just like, it's like he's not even trying to play a character. It's like he is a character, you know? He's just like, uh, what, what did he say in his demo? He was like, you know, I'll get you, I'll get you back. Or, or you got mine, you know, whatever works. You know, like he just sounds so, you know, like it just, he's not even trying to like read the script, you know? He's just like floating on it. So I just want to say, the voice have did an amazing job, but yeah, as far as, as, far as Sethos goes, um, I think he'll be fairly strong because Aggravate is already just like kind of just, you know, pretty good already. And with the supports that we have, like Nahida, and now we got Kirara, and maybe like Yao Yao and Baiju and stuff like that, it'll be pretty easy to like slot him in those teams. Um, and an interesting mechanic with the whole energy like taking his energy away from his burst to kind of make his kit work. It's kind of cool. But personally, I'm not going to build him uh, just because, you know, I guess it's been around for three years now and I don't need to build every single unit. And whenever a four star DPS comes out, it's kind of just like, yeah, Gaming was a special occasion, but yeah, especially when you have someone like Chlorin, who's a five star electro dps it's gonna fit in probably the same teams as him you know so it's just like if i'm gonna build her i don't know if i'll build him but you know, i think it'll be cool though i think i think it'll be cool I, I can't speak i think it'll be cool um yeah let me know what you guys think about it in the comments and that'll be all for me we'll see how he is on release and i will catch you guys in the next one